Hey, I'm Chrissy. And I'm Catherine. And we are traveling gleefully. And we are in Salerno. <laughs> the Naples video. Yes, it's been like four <laughs> hours. Yeah, we have arrived in Salerno and we had the most incredible surprise when we got to our Airbnb. Yeah, so we knew that Airbnb had two cats, um, which we were excited for. Turns out one of those cats had six kittens a few weeks ago and so there are just six kittens so in our Airbnb. They keep squeaking. Oh, it's so precious. Which was, it was a very welcome surprise because our Airbnb is at the top of a very tall hill yes. um, that we're actually walking down at the moment. At least the view is worth it. Yeah, our um, window has an incredible view. We'll show you that a bit later. But for now, we're just walking down into the town of Salerno to do a bit of exploring this afternoon. We're going to be using our time here. We've only got a couple of days here, but we're basically using this as a base to check out the Amalfi Coast. Um, because Amalfi and Positano and Ravello and basically every town actually on the Amalfi coast too expensive. Obviously. Um, so we'll see if Salerno is a good base for it. Hopefully it is. We've just been wandering around Salerno and it's not like it's not a very big town. Um, it's, it really reminds us of La Spezia if you watched our Cinque Terre vlog. Yeah. Um, it's got a very similar vibe and we're using it for the exact same purpose. Yeah. <laughs> so we were already comparing the two. It um, is, it's very, it's weirdly similar considering they're in different parts of Italy. Yeah, um, but it is really nice. It's a very like relaxing kind of city. Yeah. Um, everything seems very chill. A lot of people walking around and it is nice after being in like the hectic streets of Naples. Yeah, it's such a beautiful part of Italy. Yeah, we're so excited to go to the like the towns of um, we're going to Amalfi and Positano in the next couple days, and we're so excited. Yeah, all right, we're back in our Airbnb. Catherine's fiddling with the PowerPoints, um, but I thought I would just show you the view that we've got out our window because it's so nice. All right, so this is Daphne. She's one of the cats at our Airbnb and she has some kittens who are just in here. Look at that. Just a puddle of kittens. I can't handle it. This morning it's about an hour and 20 minutes or so from Salerno yeah um, which isn't too bad and we're just gonna spend a few hours here wandering around and exploring um, and we've already obviously found the most famous beach we have um, but these sun beds we knew they were expensive um, yeah. it's 40 euros per person that's so, craziness that is for a front one I yeah, think it's, it's 35, 35. That's for, still but not um, the front one. too much money. Sorry, sorry. That's way too Cheers much. There, I think we've been too spoiled at home where beaches are free. Like you do not yeah. have to pay to access any Nowhere. beach in Australia. Nowhere. Never. Um, so, I mean we knew this. It's yeah, not a shock. It, but but I, I am surprised knew, at how expensive. We knew it. Yeah. We didn't know how much it was going to cost. Yeah. Not that we were going to get one. But still. But it is beautiful. So we're just going to wander around and look at the views and get some lunch and not pay 40 euros to sit down. Yeah. <laughs> lot of steps a lot of hills yeah to get this view over Positano it is this view right here with the roof isn't the best but no, this is this just is, where we this is the best <laughs> spot to film yeah um but I filmed it kind of as we were walking up it is beautiful it's incredible and we actually walked up here because there is a relatively cheap lunch place yeah 
um, which as, as you can imagine Positano is very pricey for food. It's crazy. Um, so we, Catherine, found a good takeaway pizza place. That Gelato we've gone is to. like double the price. Yeah, the, uh, as uh, in like, like a city. Naples or yeah. whatever. Yeah. So yes, we will be eating up on the hill to save money. <laughs> yes, but it's worth it because this view is yeah. incredible. We come up here anyway for the view, so yeah, it's, it's amazing. There's so many boats out on the water, so many people swimming. Yeah, it's so nice. The hills, we were just saying, like the hills around it, yeah. like incredible yeah it's insane i feel like we've said this before but we are so impressed by just hills because australia is the flattest place you've ever seen even yeah. our hills are like they're cut they're like not impressive hills no. like these ones are rocky and amazing yeah. and so we do love a hill it is it's pretty cool it's really cool all right we've got our cheap pizza for lunch which got microwave <laughs> so we'll see how it is yeah we'll see um we're sitting just on a staircase um, outside someone's front door and we're gonna have our cheap lunch like the budget travelers we are. <laughs> <laughs> Alright lunch was pretty good considering it was microwaved. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I tried a fried calzone because like fried pizza is like a big thing in Naples and I never got to try one while we were there but it was really odd. I, I quite liked it but it's like a donut because it's fried dough that had like tomato and cheese in it but that's the closest thing I would say. Imagine a savory donut. It was yeah. pretty good. And now we got lemon slushies. Yeah, it's gelato day, but we wanted gelato tomorrow when we go to a mouthy, so we were like, lemon slushies aren't gelato. <laughs> we're breaking our own rules, but it's fine because we're the ones that it made the rules. It isn't gelato, it's fine. It's not gelato, it's, it's a lemon slushie. It's fine. We are currently sitting just on a staircase down to the second beach of Positano um, which we went down to hoping that there'd maybe be a slightly bigger free spot on this beach to sit in. We were mistaken but since we're heading back soon what are your thoughts on Positano? I feel like a bit overhyped but I feel like I knew that. Like, yeah. I feel like people have told me yeah. and I just wanted to see if it was true for myself. Yeah, but, we didn't think it was going to be like our favorite place. Mm. But given that, like a couple of months ago, we went to both Cinque Terre and a couple of, like the main towns on Lake Como, Positano was nothing special. Yeah, like, I feel compared like it's to those. all the same. I just feel like the fact that every square inch of the beaches are like filled with chairs, then you have to pay of, exorbitant amounts. Yeah, for. it kind of sucks. Like, just give us a bit more free beach. I have enjoyed the day and like seeing it for myself, but yeah. I, I don't know. I haven't seen anything like incredibly special yet. Obviously it's beautiful. Like the views are incredible. The water is stunning, but also it was the same in Cinque Terre. So it has been like a really nice day, but not, not as special as we've heard people say it is before. But I guess we'll see tomorrow when we go to another couple of towns that are not as popular whether it's any better. Yeah. All right, I thought I would just do a quick celebratory film. Um, firstly, for this stunning view. Um, but secondly, because today is nine months of travel. That's a whole baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, nine months is a long time nine to be Nine months. I can't believe nine months has gone so quickly. But also it kind of feels like seven years since we left Australia. Yeah, but it also feels like maybe two and a half weeks. <laughs> yeah, maybe seven seconds. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Insane. So, I guess, how many more months to go? Six? Not nine. Six-ish? God, Quite a few. it's gonna go so fast. Yeah. But yeah, happy nine months. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is our second day of exploring the Amalfi Coast and we are in the actual town of Amalfi this yeah. morning. Which we only went was an actual town, like, not that long ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, but we are only here for, like, 20 minutes at the moment. Yeah. And we're catching a bus up to Ravello, um, which is another little town. Not a coastal one, though. Yes. Um, so we're heading up there, and then we'll come back here this afternoon. Um, but so far, it's actually been quite easy to get around. Yeah. The mouthy coast. The ferries are kind of expensive, but, yeah. you know, I guess you expect that. Yeah. And, um... Yeah, the bus, hopefully, touch wood, 
will be good and easy. We yeah. got tickets easily and the like timetable makes sense, so we'll see. Yeah. Um, and the ferries, I was really worried that I was going to get motion sick, but they're actually okay. It's yeah. not that rough. Maybe that's just the weather the last couple of days. But touch wood, it's been, it's been okay. Yeah. Made it to Ravello. The view up here is insane. So nice. It's so beautiful. It's a bit hazy because it's warm. Yeah. But you can see like so many towns down along the water. You can see how like we're sort of inland, yeah. um, but still got a nice view of the water, which is cool. And now we're going to go look around the town and then there's a villa that we want to go to with a really nice garden. So yeah, that'll be exciting. the villas and you can eat all the produce in a restaurant it's so cool that's so like Italian so many lemons just here but yeah all we like... can see is lemon and tomato and like and basil yeah <laughs> just again just Italian. Very Italian what else do you need but it's so nice so it, this cool. is such a cute little town it's like yeah, it's really nice I and it's like definitely recommend you come here. It's also yeah. different. It's very different than Amalfi and Positano and it's also very quiet. Yeah. Um, because obviously not everyone's going to bother to make the 25 minute bus journey up the hill. Yeah, especially when you've already had to like travel to Amalfi probably. So. Yeah. But it's definitely worth it. We I mean, haven't even gotten to the villa yet. We've just been wandering through the town. You can do it on the same day as Amalfi like we are. So yeah. It's not that hard. Yeah. It's not difficult to get to and it's definitely worth it so to come cute. up into the hills okay we have arrived at villa chim kimborn kimbronne kimbronne <laughs> i'm not sure but chrissy will put it on the screen um which is really cool it's um 10 euros each entrance in summer in winter in summer seven. yeah um, but it's just, we thought we would want to come here because when you Google um, Ravello, this is like the only thing that comes up and it's beautiful. It is. It's like a really nice garden, very relaxed bathrooms. Yes, we <laughs> love it. It's got everything. <laughs> I was just going to say as well that we, in nine months of travel, have never heard or seen or met so many Australians than in the Amalfi Coast, like on the Amalfi Coast. Honestly, we're everywhere. Yeah, it's weird, like... The last nine months, you, you, we like we came across Australians. Yeah, but it was usually like in passing. You just hear someone walking past and be like, "Oh, yeah. that was an Australian accent." A couple of times, I've, I've like heard people like at a bar, but I can remember how many I've met because there's not many. But on the Amalfi Coast, I swear to God, every single person we meet is Australian. It's so it, weird. I think it's also because it's now August. Yeah, and everyone's doing their Euro summer. Yeah, trip. I wonder if this will happen more. Like the more we travel in the next couple like a month or two because it's it's like this is when Australians would come yeah like September October kind of time so it is it's very funny honestly just today alone we've probably already heard Six like yeah <laughs> yesterday it's so funny balcony thing is what the pictures are when you look up Ravello online um, and I can understand why because the view is insane it's crazy also like this way goes right down to some other little towns and stuff it's so beautiful it's so cool we're very high up though which mm -hmm. is making me a little nervous up in Ravello and it's just it's so nice up here it's getting busier than it was this morning but like it's, not that bad. it's still not that bad compared to like Positano yesterday and probably Amalfi which we will assess this afternoon yeah um, but it's just it's so nice up here we just took a very long traffic -y bus back from Ravello we're very lucky that we got on the one we did and that we weren't late because 
we have a ferry to catch. Yeah, they, the bus is meant to take 25 minutes, and I think we were on that one for an hour, and he let everyone off early because, like, the traffic just wasn't moving. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so keep that in mind if you do go to Ravello, coming back is going to be a pain. Yeah. Um, um, but we made it back. We just had gelato, but we decided not to film it because I think you've seen us even after lunch. You definitely have. <laughs> and now we're just going to walk around Amalfi for an hour before our ferry back, but it'll be good to look around for a bit. Coast, you know that the thing to buy here, apart from like lemon merch, is gelato, lemon gelato in a lemon. Yeah, but like a, like a hollowed out yeah, lemon. I can't think of anything more pointless. I know because like you can't, you're not eating the lemon skin, and it's like it's adding no flavor to the gelato. It's adding and nothing. In, and instead of being like a three euro gelato, it is ten euros yeah. for gelato in a lemon. I don't understand. And we just saw a kid get Oreo gelato in a lemon because they didn't want lemon gelato, but they still got it in a lemon. Like, what do you, what's the point of that? Why are you spending 10 euros on that? Yeah, we were saying earlier, like, we haven't spent that much money today. I mean, our ferries were not cheap. Yeah. But then you've got the bus ticket, we got lunch, and we got a gelato. But you could easily spend like hundreds of dollars in just like a day on the Amalfi Coast with yeah. all the like, things like that that you can buy that are like really overpriced and like the beach chairs yeah and everything but also there is some good quality stuff here as well obviously there's like lots of lemon soaps and lemon cellos and stuff but also some of the like linen fabric that is made here is incredible but it is so expensive yeah it's beautiful but we saw it's a dress amazing. a dress yeah a dress yesterday that was 240 yeah, euros it's, it's insane and i'm sure like it's handmade and everything oh, it'd but be like worth it but good god we can't afford that no you could spend so much money here but you don't have to it's still not cheap but like yeah, you we've we've managed spending money yeah we are back in salerno after our last ferry ride for a little while, which is nice. And um, we're going to finish the video here because we're just going to walk back up the gigantic hill to our apartment. And then we head on a train to Rome tomorrow. Yeah. We have really enjoyed today. Yesterday we enjoyed, but Positano was not yeah. really as nice as we expected. We but Amalfi and Ravello we really enjoyed. Yeah, we definitely enjoyed Amalfi and Ravello more. I think we've we're learning that the super touristy places are never our favorite. I mean, places. Yeah, but it's also good but, to go and explore yeah. them and like experience them for yourself. Because I'd had people tell me like, "Oh, Positano isn't worth the hype," but I was like, "I want to decide." That. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is like it's so beautiful, so it's definitely worth seeing. Um, but Amalfi and Ravello were better, in our yeah. opinions. But no, we've enjoyed the whole time and it's been really cool seeing like another bucket list place in Italy. Yeah, uh, but we're going to finish this one off here. So thank you for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Yeah, follow us on Instagram. And we will see you in Rome. See you in Rome. Bye. Bye.